Today, we're testing a new electric scooter. This model has a beautiful design, good performance, incredibly well put together for incredibly low price. I met for the first time the Adea team at CES 2023, one of the largest manufacturers of electric two-wheeled vehicles in the world, developing quality products and very cool innovative EVs for the last 20 years, and I didn't know about that. They recently unveiled the Adea Elite Prime X1 model, and this is a very interesting scooter. Let's talk about the design. A very sleek, curvy edges, ergonomic with futuristic directions. The frame is very light, aluminum alloy. We have a single arm construction, very smooth lines, good quality rubber grip that's seamlessly integrated into this deck. Maximum load weight, 265 pounds or 120 kilograms. All wires hidden in the frame, so well executed, love it. Fenders that are well designed and splash proof protect me from the water when I was riding in the rain but because the way they connected because of the design they vibrate and a little bit noisy when you go over bigger potholes. The scooter is IPX5 waterproof level and we had the rain for the entire past week and I rode it for three days straight in the rain and the scooter has no issues. We have a rear hub motor rated 800 watts, peak power output 1500 watts, 40 newton meter of torque the scooter will automatically stop if tilted over 45 degrees. The acceleration is powerful, it's very punchy, it pulls hard, maintains constant speed and it's great uphill. The battery is 46.8 volts, 14.5 amp hour or 678 watt hour capacity. It is a larger size battery for this size scooter. Advertised 40 miles or 64 kilometers in range on a single charge with the Regen, which we'll test. We have a front and rear suspension that is cartridge system that is actually really good and so comfy. We have 10 inch tubeless tires that feature self-healing option. I was really surprised how well they grip on the wet surfaces. Soft, good quality tire has PMT rounded design and pattern. Really like these tires. Performance, it's incredible. The deck, it is seven inch wide about 20 inch long and you can use this uh, front space right here, the back footrest, six inch and a half, almost seven inch. The rubber is so well integrated, I like the quality, looks very good. The charger, look how compact it is, I like the logo, this uh, orange uh, rubber strap. Two amp uh, speed and it's uh, 54.6 volts, 48 volts. And what's cool here, we have a Mac charger, like an Apple charger, real cool. I like the screen, how it shows you the level and the percentage. Top speed. The torque is really punchy and gets you to 19 miles an hour really fast. It is limited due to the safety reasons and set up to increase power only when you need it. If you have heavier loads or ride up hill. Acceleration, it is insanely powerful for the side scooter and will do a wheelie if you don't shift your weight properly if you're not careful. Once you reach 19 miles an hour, you feel that dead stop in acceleration. I hope Adele later on offers a lock removal to get the scooter to 22-25 miles an hour top speed. That would be super cool. Range. The scooter weighs 80 pounds on the heavier side, but it's compact, easy to fold and move around. So I decided to take it for a trip to Virginia, and I was able to ride from Tyson Quarter all the way to the capital, covering over 15 miles in range. I had a heavy backpack with me. So it was 262 pounds. Pounds with a backpack, all geared up. Total weight 262 pounds, which is right on the recommended limit. But the scooter was actually faster, delivering more power and keeping the speed constantly between 19 to 20 miles an hour. All right, guys, cover 15.5 miles, one hour from Tyson Corner to Washington, D.C. And I still have two bars left and I'm here by the bus going to New York. So continue the wrench test in New York City with those two bars left. Reaching back New York City, I was able to ride another 12 miles, covering a total of 27 miles in range. The result is impressive and 40 miles advertised range is definitely reachable if you're in between 150 to 200 pounds in the weight range. The torque and acceleration, it's perfect for New York City traffic. I can keep up very well in the bike lane and avoid any obstacle if needed. The brakes are set up perfectly out of the box. We have this mechanical brake in the back and drum brake in the front.
The display will show you the speed, drive mode, headlights, Bluetooth, cruise control and battery levels. And you can choose walk mode, which will flash the rear lights, D, S and X being the fastest mode. We have turning signals that are really bright and finally set up properly. Once it's activated, you'll hear a loud beeping noise. The screen will show the indication flash option, which I have not seen on any other electric scooters, and this should be a standard. Hill climb advertised 30% and here is the steepest hill in my area and the scooter is actually doing pretty well. Just look at this kickstand, it hides so nicely inside the body of the frame and uh, it looks so cool and it's spring loaded. I like these handlebars but if you look it's curved down and uh, look at these levers to so have you know mechanical disc brakes. I like that this lever actually we can lift it up and down. It's not loosened but it goes there's a screw right there that can loosen the bottom and you can lift it up or down and adjust it which is really cool. Uh, I'm not sure why they implemented the same design here. I tried to loosen it and it doesn't move actually. We have integrated screen that's actually pretty cool. A lot of information. I like this turning signals and they actually show notification on the screen, make noise and they turn themselves off after seven or eight seconds. Good quality grips. I like this integration to the stem. We have this uh, clip right here that connects to the body when you fold it. We have a very long stem that's actually comfortable. Charging port right here. Riding the scooter off-road, even though the power is limited, shines and does so well. Very good control and comfort with power delivery. And here are the lights. The front light, it's not super bright. It's more like a notification light, close up. It's concentrated, it has a, a nice white spill, but I wish it was uh, slightly brighter, but for city it's okay. And here's the rear light, extremely bright. Let me show you guys the brake light, even brighter. The walking mode, this is crazy bright. Considering the sale price of $699, which is limited super early bird deal price. Don't miss that. I have to say the design is impressive. High quality parts that flow seamlessly and look premium. Beautiful lines, screen and console integrated into the stem, long stem and bent handlebars make this model comfortable and look apart from all other scooters I tried so far. Everything is custom on the scooter, good materials used and elegantly crafted. It is a solid scooter to ride. The under 20 miles an hour speed is set up for safety and it's enough for daily commutes, but I feel like there's power there that can be released for areas where it's allowed and the idea should unlock that potential. Range and performance overall at this price level makes this ideal scooter for city commuting and a deal I cannot pass. At the full price, if you miss the deal, I would expect 25 miles an hour top speed and a battery capacity that will support the range numbers I got earlier. I'm really impressed with the design, comfort and performance of this model. I hope you guys find this deal attractive and act on it. Share and like this video so others get the chance to learn and order the scooter while the deal is available. Ride safe and I'll see you next time.